Lions! All this business has been appointed by the WBC and the British Boxing Board of Control, the WBC supervisor from the USA, Bob Yearman. Our steward in charge is Mr. Mick Collier. Our inspectors work in the red and blue corners, Ed Rose and Ben Corder Smith. Timekeeper at the bell is Bob Edgeworth. And our three scoring judges from England, Richie Davis, from Scotland, Victor Lachlan, and from Belgium, Daniel Van Derbeer. When the bell rings and the action begins, the man in the middle, the man in charge, is referee Mr. Ian John Lewis of Gillingham, England. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Introducing to you, fighting out in the red corner, wearing the red trunks, trim with white weight in at 16 stone, 4 pounds. 47 fight, 38 wins. 25 inside the scheduled distance and just 90 feet. He comes to the ring as the former WBC international heavyweight champion from Russia, Dennis Baktar. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is. Six down, four pounds, nine ounces. Undefeated! Eight contests! Eight wins! All inside the scheduled distance! He comes to the ring as a two-time ABA champion and the winner of the coveted Olympic gold medal. Ladies and gentlemen, from Watford, England, it's AJ Anthony Go! on the way then 10 rounds of boxing for the Lakers WBC International Heavyweight Championship I am the referee I spoke to you both in the dressing room I obey my command at all times you both know the rules what's the heads keep the punches up and when I shout break you break clean and remember to defend yourselves at all times shake hands a real crackle of anticipation around the place that's what this fella brings People turn out just to get a, get a close-up of Anthony Joshua. A real sense that we are looking at a future superstar in British boxing. Already scaled the summit as an amateur with the Olympic gold medal. Can he repeat the trick as a professional? He's up against Dennis Baktoff, who once held this title, the WBC International Heavyweight title, back in 2001. That was his ninth professional fight. But Dennis... For Anthony, tonight, this is his ninth professional fight. Physically just so imposing. 16 stone 12 on the scales yesterday, Jim. Backtoff doing a nice little job of just slipping and missing those long jabs. Backtoff tends to stick around. I mean, he's never been got out of there inside before four rounds. He's only failed to go the distance once since 2005. That was against Manuel Shah, and that was on a hand injury as well. So he knows how to look after himself. And that's what Joshua needs. He needs some rounds. He needs an opponent who can make him miss. Yeah, eventually he's going to need some competitive rounds. At the moment, uh, Baktov doesn't know how to get close. Yeah, this could be big trouble for Baktov already. As Joshua's catching him early, the crowd's caught fire as well. And Baktov knows he's in a fight. He's shaken up, Jim. The legs don't look good. Landed a right hand there, backed off. A little shake of the head as if to say, yeah, I'm all right. And Joshua smiles right back at him. Joshua's quickest win, 83 seconds. Back at Wembley Stadium against Matt Legg. But he's caught and hurt this fella already. Well, I mean, you have to compare Joshua's performance so far with the recent performances against backed off. And this is terrific. You know, he's not moving into punch, you know, close enough to get countered. He's getting these punches on without Look a the eye, down, the left, eye. The left eye. Cut there as well. I mean, backed off as an experienced guy, and he was trying to find a way to get close to Joshua. And while he was thinking about that, you know, he got thumped with a jab, then the big right hand, and Joshua is picking the punches beautifully at the moment. Well, he made that. He made him miss with that first jab, didn't he, backed off? I thought, oh, we've got someone who's going to be a bit clever and cute here. 
And then once Joshua tagged him, you could see he was in trouble. Missing there, Joshua, and then backed off, tries to land something himself, can't get close. Now, just in total control. And smiling. The throw is showing a nice little feint, you know, thinking what he's doing. You know, just all the time in the world. Now, definitely a special talent in the heavyweight division. Oh, oh look at that counter right hand as well. He loved it. Backed off didn't. He's taken it though, but Joshua smiling again. Sharp, nasty little short inside left hand there as well. Backed off with another left hand. Caught. And Joshua grinning from ear to ear as he's tagging a very experienced and capable opponent here in Dennis Baktoff. And full credit to Baktoff. These are the punches that have finished the eight opponents already. He's still in there. Can't make any impression whatsoever, but he's taken his, his medicine. So he's proved his toughness getting through that round. That was a huge round for Joshua. And an absolute disastrous round for Baktoff. Yep, I mean, he was actually smiling halfway through the round. He would land a big shot. He would see the acknowledgement from Baktoff and he would smile back, not getting close enough for Baktoff to be able to do anything. And while Baktoff was thinking about what he wanted to do, and that was a beautiful little counter, and out comes the tongue. They both knew that was a beauty. That was a terrific... That's as good a round as I've seen from Joshua. That really was impressive. Corners, ten seconds. Seconds out. Round two. That first round was about as competitive as a bullfight. Everything but the red cape for Anthony Joshua in there at the moment. Round two then. Joshua has never been past three. Backed off has never been stopped inside four. It's scheduled for ten. We have three scoring judges. I don't think we'll be needing them. But you know, he's not just thinking about power, Joshua. He's thinking about his skills as well. You don't want to take the punches yeah. yet. Terrific right hands. This guy's experienced, and that's what's keeping him in there. And backed off, really giving it a go, trying to tag him back. But again, just too sharp and too powerful from Joshua, who's slicing into ribbons here. And Ian John Lewis might have a job to do because Baktoff is so brave, he's standing up to this, but he is getting pounded and Ian John Lewis did absolutely the right thing because Baktoff, oh, he's letting it go on. Well, I thought he was stopping it. He should be. And he will, <laughs> and he has. If you hadn't seen him before and you wondered what the fuss was about, that is what the fuss is about. Yep, I mean, that, uh, that is a ter that's as good a performance as what I've ever seen from Anthony Joshua. That, he's just wiped out a guy who does not get wiped out. That was terrific. And he hardly took a punch in return. Kept his boxing together. You can see the things he's been working on in the gym. They all, he puts them all perfectly in the fights. They're doing a terrific job behind the scenes. The hard work, obviously, is being done behind the scenes because the opponents cannot live with them. They're going to have to step them up. But we're in a real tough position here. How do you, you... You can't take chances with a talent like this. But there is no question this young man is going all the way. Well, if you want to make the comparison, and, of course, any comparison is ridiculous, I'll do it after this finish, Jim, because, I mean, he, he was cutting him to shreds, wasn't he? Yep, yeah, and, and he took nothing back in the process. He's always thinking what he's doing. And just tremendous natural power. Full credit to Baktoff, he didn't quit. He took his bumps, he tried to fire back. OK, we're looking at a man at the end of a long 15-year career. But these, these are the punches that were flooring the previous eight of Joshua's opponents. This guy was taking them and still trying to get himself back into the fight. This is the point when the, the, the fight should really have been stopped there. Said box on, but thankfully he had a good look at backed off, as you can see. Couple more shots, then in he goes. One more decent punch, and he called it off. Terrific performance. And you saw the reaction from backed off as well. No complaints, no argument. He was glad to be out of there.
Oh, this really was impressive from Joshua tonight. There's just no two ways about it. Baktov was brought in because he's durable and capable and can look after himself. And he looked like a little kid in there against Anthony Joshua. Well, again, let's go back to the comparison. And comparisons are ridiculous, of course, you can't make them. But this is what he's done in nine fights. And he's won his first ten-rounder. He gets his first belt. Lennox Lewis didn't win his first ten-rounder till his 13th fight. If you want to make that comparison, he's ahead of Lennox Lewis at the moment. And the momentum and the excitement and the interest in this fella is only going to build and build and build. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Bob Edgeworth recorded a time of one minute of the second round. Ian John Lewis has stopped this contest with backed off in no position to defend himself. Therefore, your winner and the new WBC International Heavyweight Champion from Watford, England, AJ Anthony Joshua! Wow, Anthony Joshua delivers yet again, Dennis backed off this bat in brutal...